welcome to Hot Chocolate Hits. Today I'm going to show you how to make a rainbow funfetti cake in the microwave in under five minutes because say it's your best friend's birthday and you totally forgot and you don't have a gift and he or she is coming over in less than five minutes. You can whip this up in a minute, pop it into the microwave and it will be ready and they will love it because who doesn't like cake and who doesn't like rainbows? So let's get started. In a small bowl, you want to combine a heaping third cup of all-purpose flour with two tablespoons of granulated sugar, an eighth teaspoon of baking powder, and an eighth teaspoon of baking soda. You can use all baking soda if you don't have the baking powder, but I find a combination of the two works perfectly. Next, you want to add a quarter cup of milk, followed by two tablespoons of natural yogurt. You can use Greek yogurt or vanilla yogurt if you'd like. You can also use all milk if you don't have the yogurt. Now you want to add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract for some flavor and you just want to give these ingredients a quick whisk until they are nice and blended and smooth. You simply cannot have a vanilla cake without the butter, so now we're adding two tablespoons of melted unsalted butter and I'm just going to give that a quick whisk in. Notice how I'm just using a spoon and a bowl, that's all you need. So once the mixture is nice and smooth, we're going to add the best part, which is the sprinkles. These are about two tablespoons. You can use a little bit more if you'd like. And I'm just using a combination of some flour, some hearts, and some red sprinkles. Um, just make sure that your sprinkles are not non parades or whatever those are called, because those tend to bleed. Pour the batter into your favorite mug. The mug should hold between one and a half and two cups of liquid because the cake does rise up significantly. Pop it into the microwave and cook for about two minutes and 10 seconds. It will kind of settle in and sink down slightly as it begins to cool. It's so pretty with or without frosting. I like to eat it without frosting. Make sure that you eat it warm because that's when it tastes the best. And just look at how soft and moist it is. Not to mention downright delicious. And bonus, it's vegetarian. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy learning how to make this quick and easy microwave rainbow funfetti cake. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to leave me a comment below, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe if you want to keep up with more of my videos. Also, stay tuned next week where I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate caramel hazelnut tart for Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching again, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.